Hello guys, I hope you are feeling completely well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Arash and I'm here to teach you French language in English. Let's get started with another video. As you already know, we are in grammar book, uh, grammar on dialogue, and now we are in the lesson six. We, I told you, I told everything related to pouvoir. It's an important verb. It's an auxiliary, as I told you before. And please be careful with the conjugation. Keep it in your mind. And now we have another important verb. Vouloir. If you want to learn French language with me and you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Continue with me. Like the videos. Comment below. I will be thankful. Vouloir. Vouloir means, guys, to want. Vouloir means to want. The conjugation, uh, as usual, form affirmative, affirmative form, form negative, the negative form. I will tell you, je veux, tu veux, il veut, elle veut, on veut. All three of them are pronounced vo, but the only difference is that the third one has an it has T at the end in the place of X. So, je veux, but, the, but there is no difference in pronunciation, only in written form. Je veux, tu veux, il veut, elle veut, on veut. Nous voulons, vous voulez, il vol, elle vol. Compare with pouvoir. Pouvoir, I will tell you some, uh, once more. Je peux, tu peux, il peut, elle peut, on peut. Nous pouvons, vous pouvez, ils peuvent, elles peuvent. The ones who uh, kept the conjugation in their mind is really good. Je veux, tu veux, il veut, elle veut, on veut, nous voulons, vous voulez, il veut, elle veut. This is for vouloir. Negative form, you know, put no before the conjugation, put pas after the conjugation. Je ne veux pas, this is not something new for you. Je ne veux pas, just pronunciation. Je ne veux pas. Guys, je ne veux pas, it's is correct, com completely correct, but you uh, you hear j'en veux pas from uh, uh, francophone. J'en veux pas, tu ne veux pas, il ne veut pas, elle ne veut pas, on ne veut pas, nous ne voulons pas, vous ne voulez pas, il ne veut pas, elle ne veut pas. Ne dites pas, don't say. It's in pretty form, but negative in pretty form. I will tell, I will teach you how to make a sentence imperative how to put a verb in imperative form i will tell you in positive imperative form negative imper imperative form don't worry now here no dit pas i will put it here no dit pas don't say je veux un café mais je voudrais un café no dit pas don't say je veux un café it is written, don't say, je veux un café. Je voudrais un café. Voudrais, it's, it's a, uh, it is conditional. We will study conditional in um, very, very future. Uh, but um, now, whenever you want to, uh, it is would like, guys. This vaut, je veux means I want. Je voudrais means I would like. So, exactly like English. Whenever you want to ask somebody in a polite form, you say, you know, I would like a coffee. So, je voudrais un café. Here, proposition. Proposition means proposition. Vous voulez un café? It's, a, it's an offer. Vous voulez un café? Do you want a coffee? Tu veux aller? Ou tu veux aller au cinéma? Do you want to go to, a, to the cinéma? Volonté. About your desire. Elle veut étudier l'espagnol. She wants to study Span Spanish. Nous ne voulons pas quitter Prague. Quitter. Quit. Quitter means to quit. So, nous ne voulons pas quitter Prague. You see that this is the first verb conjugated, the second one is in infinitive form. Nous ne voulons pas quitter Prague. 
We don't want to quit Prague or Prague. Now, devoir. Devoir is another in, important uh, auxiliary verb in French language. So, till now, pouvoir, vouloir, we studied these two uh, verbs. And now, devoir. Devoir means should, but it's really, uh, it is really interesting in French language that should is conjugated. And it's, an, it's a, this is the infinitive of should. Or have to, it's better to say. It, it gives you an obligation, guys. Whenever you want to use an obligation in your sentences, in your phrases, you must use this devoir. Form affirmative, form negative, je dois, tu dois, I, I will tell you a little bit slower. Je dois, tu dois, il doit, elle doit, on doit. All three of them are pronounced doit. But the only difference is in written form, the third one has T at the end instead of S. Je dois, tu dois, il doit, elle doit, on doit, I should, you should, he should. Nous devons, or I have to, you have to, she has to. Nous devons, we have to, or we should. Vous devez, vous devez, ils doivent, elles doivent. Guys, be careful with the third it's better to say to, uh, to the sixth one. Je dois, tu dois, il doit, elle doit, on doit. Nous devons, vous devez, ils doivent, elles doivent. Je ne dois pas. Je ne dois pas, tu ne dois pas, il ne doit pas, elle ne doit pas. Nous ne devons pas. Vous ne devez pas. Ils ne doivent pas, elles ne doivent pas. You know. Obligation. As I told you, I have just told you this. Obligation. It is used for obligation. For example. Nous devons réserver des billets de train. You can say here, you can put avion, avion here, instead of train. Write avion. So, des billets d'avion, like that, d'avion, d'avion. Des billets d'avion means uh, plane ticket. Des billets de train means train ticket. So, billets means don't say don't pronounce like that billet billet is not correct guys billet billet this is e dozel e whenever you have these four word these these four letters in a uh, word you must pronounce like that e e e like billet nous devons réserver i will make some videos related to how to pronounce the words in French language. If you are interested in pronunciation, you can go through the, those videos and learn by heart. Nous devons réserver des billets de, de train. We must reserve uh, the train ticket. Qu'est-ce que je dois faire? I told you about Kesko in in uh, video in previous videos. You can go and uh, learn about Kesko if you don't know. Kesko je dois faire. But the ones who started with me and continued uh, till now know everything that I told uh, about Kesko. Kesko je dois faire or Kesko je dois faire. Qu'est-ce que je dois native speakers pronounce like that? Qu'est-ce que je dois faire? What can what I must do or what I what should I do? Tu dois partir. Tu dois partir. You should depart. You should depart. You should go. So this lesson also uh, finished, guys. And in next video, we will go through the text. Text here. Lesson 6 text. And there is a text here. I will go through it. Stay with me. Have a good time. Bye-bye.